I mean, think of the illegal aliens at that San Francisco school who kicked out Hispanics. It was Hispanics wearing American flags. Those Hispanics want to be Americans, and the Mexicans are up here intimidating them. Absolutely. In fact, when I was a kid, I was telling a story about that the other day at the bar while I was talking to some people about this very same subject. And I had a, a shirt that my mom put an American flag on it. And I remember, you know, Mrs. Welsh, you know, explaining to me the colors of the flag and what they represented. <clears throat> and, you know, my dad was a World War II Korean War guy. Three Purple Hearts, Silver Star, and Bronze Star, clearly decorated. You know, my son is an Air Force uh, officer currently serving. Um, you know, he's against the war. He's pro Ron Paul. You know, you know, somos tejanos. We love our culture. We love our music. We love our food. You know. Well, I, I listen. I love your culture too. That's what's so sickening about this. I wish Mexico was free. I mean, I I, I might retire down there. Well, they should have just taken it when they had the chance. You know, we, we paid them for the Southwest. I mean, Texas, we outright fought them for it. I mean, that's how long my family's been here on both sides, just like the caller before me. Uh, I looked the know, number up. I looked the number up. I was having an argument with my dad this morning, and he said, no, half of the people in the war for, for Texas were Hispanic. And I said, I thought it was a third. I went and looked it up. At least a half were Hispanic. They don't teach that. They don't want people to feel like they belong here. Jose Antonio Navarro was one of the founders of the Constitution. When I found that out when I was living in San Antonio, and then I found out, you know, well, then we had Desavala was our vice president, right? Yes. So we had Houston. So we got along, okay? And you can ask my mother, because she's from Barn City down in the country, and she's not with us anymore. But back in the old days, she said, hey, all the gringos spoke Spanish. Everybody got along. You well, know, everybody was intermarrying, too. People were doing that. People just like now, just like you, you go anywhere else, you know, I mean, maybe the blacks had it harder than us, you know, but I mean, look, everybody's had a Look, nothing was perfect. There was discrimination. But you go down to Mexico, no matter who you are, and try to set something up, you're going to get discriminated against. That's tribalism. But I've really studied this history, and that's and I agree with you. That's what's so sick about this, Texican, is that... Uh, do you agree with me, though, that the federal government is injecting this because they're scared of these new Hispanics whose whose culture fits into our republic actually becoming uh, what they would call right wing? Well, you know, this, this, this government is completely corrupt, and, and, and it's just, it, like you said, it's just, it's not even our government anymore. I mean, why do you think my son wants to get out of the Air Force? He just doesn't. Everybody knows. Man. Exactly. I will. You know, people say, why do you support America? It's got all these wars and is evil. My America died when they killed Kennedy. That's really the mark. 1963 in Dallas, Texas. That's when the republic started dying. I want my republic back. And I want my neighbors to be whatever color they want. I just want them to be pro Freedom. I mean, my God, why did our country have half the wealth in the world with 4% of the population? Because we had more liberty. Liberty creates wealth. God bless you, Texican. I'm going to go fast to Raul, Bob, David, George, Joe, Ralph, and others. And again, this is what most Hispanics from my study are for. Freedom, liberty, the Second Amendment, private property. But the mainstream media is trying to make Mexicans, anybody that has a Mexican heritage, feel like they got to be part of this. You know, growing up in Dallas, playing football and basketball and baseball, I didn't think this is a black kid, this is a Hispanic kid, this is a white kid. Things are worse now than they were back then. Because the media, if you're against government-run health care, written by the insurance companies, they call you a racist. They use it as a weapon. And now Robert Rodriguez has got a race war film where his own people that work for him who are Hispanic are concerned. Uh, now it's just out in the open and the mainstream media covers it up. We have to make a decision. What side are we on? Are we for the Republic and the Bill of Rights? It isn't perfect, but it's better than everything else. I mean, how could kids in San Francisco at a high school, and the media didn't even say this for three days, it was later on MSNBC, that three of the five kids that were kicked out were Hispanic, and that there were their Hispanic parents going, look, they're Americans. They're allowed to wear American flags. They're sick of all this Mexico stuff. I mean, even if you believe Mexico previously really had the Southwest, and even though the French had it and the Russians had California, and nobody could hold it. Still, why would you want this to be Mexico? Look at it. It's our Bill of Rights that's so precious. And...
Let's just go back to your calls. Raul in California, what's your view on this, sir? Hello, sir. How are you doing? Doing all right. My, I mean, an awesome download. I just want to thank you so much for what you do on Ed Jones. First of all, I'm so pissed off. I'm so disgusted of what Latinos are doing down in the South. They make my race being a Mexican a disgrace, you know? Well, the it's the media doing it. that. It's the media that's, that's setting all this up. But, I mean, it's like they're putting two pit bulls in a cage to kill each other, and we need to realize that. Go ahead. Exactly. One thing that, the, that all these Latinos, they're not educated, Alex Jones, because I even asked my, my parents, what do you think was going on in this world? And they start going off with the gringos are doing this, blah, 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 blah. And I told them, look at what you guys are saying. You guys are blaming the gringos. It's not them. It's this new world order that's being into place, and, and they're raising they're raising. They're raising nonsense policies, put them into place so they could have everybody distracted on these policies instead of what is the real issue in hand. We should be dealing with this new world order and, and later on deal with immigration, deal with gay marriages, deal with anything else. We should be dealing with these people first and bring them to justice. Exactly. Look, it's a North American Union. They say in the North American Union documents they'll use racial strife to just get rid of the border entirely and then we'll all just be slaves. Exactly, and get on my nerves. Me myself, I can't. I, I'm, I'm a great United States. I was a year old. I got I got my green card when I was five years old, and then two years ago I became a citizen. I earned my citizenship for seven in the military for four and a half years, you know. And it gets on my nerves that we're fighting this this ridiculous, bogus war. When reality is something else, you know. Let me ask you this question, uh, Raúl. When you talk to your Hispanic friends, what? I mean, are you seeing pressure to force them into this whole Raza communist movement, or what are you seeing? Um, pr pretty much, they, like, it's, it's the same thing, you know. They, like they tell, they tell me, they, they, they tell me, you're, you're a traitor. You're a traitor. Why are you saying this? And it's like, what, I even tell them, do you really want the same type of government in the United States? Do you want communism in the United States? Do, do you do you want organized crime from Mexico in the United States? You know, and 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 I, and I tell them, I don't want it exactly. That's what you're doing by you saying all this, all this. That, that means you're promoting, you you're promoting the Mexican agenda, the new world agenda, into the United States, and that's what we don't want. You know. Well, let me ask They're you this question. Go. Exactly, we have the globalists running Washington and then attacking from all sides. Uh, what would you like to say to Robert Rodriguez, though? Because this is a guy that's made hundreds of millions of dollars. He's filthy rich. Uh, and he is, from the Hispanics I've talked to, that's who warned me about this, people that work with him, they believe this is going to actually create division and hurt Latinos. I pretty much what I want to tell them is, well, tell them, it's not about being Mexican, it's not about being black, being white, being Asian, being black, it's about humanity. It's, 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 it's about understanding that once you, you promote this hatred against racism, and into society, you're automatically giving the way to the devil to to do his his um his his deeds. His I appreciate your deeds. call. Great points. I mean, we can play the clips. That's what's promoted on the colleges and the universities and the schools is that whites are the devil and must be driven out. What do you think whites are going to do? They're going to start going after Hispanics. I mean, it, it 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 is the globalists are putting us in a cage like pit bulls to kill each other, and I want to deal with that. I want to give the number out to Troublemaker Studios when we come back from break so you can call Robert Rodriguez and let him know what you think about this new film, Machete, this folk icon who kills the gringo. What is your view of this? Are you concerned about this? It, because if there is violence, there's already violence, but if there's violence that comes out of this, uh, it, it's just going to be horrible. God bless you. I appreciate your call. Bob and Carolina. Don't know what Carolina, but from Carolina. Bob, you're on the air. Go ahead. What are <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, don't, first, first of all, I'd like to say don't give up the enchiladas or the tacos because I know you love them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> secondly, I'd like to say that I love white people. Uh, we don't we don't want to fight with the white people. All my Hispanic, uh, Mexican, you know, whatever, we don't want to fight. Well, let me just say, the <laughs> average white person is a thumb-sucking, guilty person who thinks they're evil. So believe me, the white people don't want to get you either. But they are starting to get scared. Yeah, yeah, they, and, and that's and that's what it's for. I mean, I've seen it in L.A. My, my, look, 
I grew up in LA. with was 14 gangs in my school. My father was a, a is a um, a principal at LA USD. There's there's only so many roads that Hispanics can go down. And and from what I've seen growing up, you can either be in a gang, or you can be educated in 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 a, in, a, in a, like a La Raza style uh, education system that is basically communist. It's a basically LA Unified is a basically communist system, and they teach. Basic socialism, communism. That's and again, you know, that's course. the big bankers that have done that. They've only given Hispanics the road to be communist with the big banks funding it. Can't people see that, that the big banks don't want Hispanics to re be part of America and be gun-toting, private property-owning members of freedom? Absolutely. And for, my, for the Hispanic people, I mean, look, there's bad people that are white, that are black, that are Hispanic. It's just the way it's going to be.